this video, we are going to be finding out what is the hardest level from every single LEGO game, alongside which is the hardest of them all. The result will shock you, and some of these levels should not be allowed to exist. Starting off where it all began, it's... There are 62 levels in the complete saga, 36 main story levels, 20 bounty hunter missions, and then 6 bonus levels. And a lot of you may not agree with me on this one, but I gotta give it to Gunship Cavalry Original. Ugh, the mixture of horrific camera angles and having to restart from the very beginning every time you die just makes for one of the worst LEGO game experiences ever. And you may be thinking, what about the original pod race? Yes, it can get quite tense, but if you know where to hit the speed boosters, you you are good to go, whereas this abomination of a level is just designed terribly, and even the newer version is no better. Why am I towing detonators with raw in Star Wars? Are the Republic low on studs or what? Save money where we can, we must. Grab your fedora, as it's time to get all the ladies, it's... What is the hardest level in LEGO Indiana Jones? 99% of you will argue it's motorcycle escape, and I ain't gonna disagree. The constant spawning of bazooka troopers near the end makes it a living nightmare. Why is the handling on these vehicles so bad when the level is literally centered around them? Please just stop on the orange button. Mm, it makes me want to hit the other player so bad, but then I realize it's me dad. Both gunship cavalry and motorcycle escape are very messy levels and result in you dying over and over again and they just haven't aged that well and the hardest out of the two has got to be gunship cavalry at least motorcycle escape doesn't make you restart from the very beginning oh now this is where things get interesting <laughs> What if I told you there was something more challenging than the dreadful vehicle levels we have seen so far? But here is the catch, it is only challenging in free play. This is Arctic World and it has the most difficult mini kit to collect from every single LEGO game, making you slide through five gates in a row on the ice slide of peril. Half the time when you do hit a gate, you just end up being pushed out the way, causing you to miss the the next one. Do you want to know whereabouts in the level the mini kit appears? At the very end of the level, and this was way before checkpoints made it into LEGO games, with the first LEGO game to have checkpoints being LEGO Batman 2 from 2012. Meaning, if you fail, you have to start the level all over again. Take a look at this average LEGO game level. There is nothing all too challenging here, even with it being a vehicle level. However, with some small changes, this becomes one of the most difficult LEGO game levels ever created, and it easily beats the others. And with that one simple change, behold Forest Forage, a bonus level which tasks you in finding 10 blue balloons in a pitch black forest. I feel like Daredevil with earmuffs on. Absolute useless. They could have chosen any other colour, but no. You may be thinking, well, why not you just look up a guide? It's useless. The forest is that hard to navigate through. You might as well do it blindfolded. Why does everybody complain about vehicle levels in LEGO games when underwater levels exist? Unlike Mario and Rayman where the underwater levels can actually be fun, LEGO games just seem to keep failing at them. I do not think there's a single good one. There's always a bigger fish. The Black Lake is a prime example of a dumb challenging level with annoying free play collectibles. You see how it is detecting a yellow collectible here? Well, you will never guess where the actual collectible is in the next area of the level. I am sick of swimming around in this lake, getting beaten by these ugly looking squid things which take around five hits to defeat. Can you imagine just going to this event? How boring must it be? The minute they jump in the water, you're just sat watching water for 40 minutes till they pop back up. What a boring day. Unless at the end you get a kiss off Fleur Delacour. I have such a massive grudge against this next level because it stopped me completing the game as a kid. Give us the Clone Wars theme, it's... 
LEGO Star Wars 3 has 84 levels and it is the best LEGO Star Wars game still, but I will never forgive them for what they did with the final level and boss. So what did they do to make it so hard? First you have to complete a huge galactic battle which is not easy. How long is this going to take? They didn't even let me play as the fish guy. I want to be the fish guy. Then once that is done you go to fight the Zillow Beast and here is where things get complicated. At the bottom it says you will need to use the RX200 tank to defeat the Zillow Beast. But here is the catch. The game doesn't tell you how to get the RX200 tank. Thanks Lego. To unlock the tank you have to splash thousands of studs on cannons and then it actually unlocks the tank and this was so confusing to so many people and this is what prevented 8 year old me from finishing the game. You best start believing in hard levels Miss Tono. Yeah next up it's... What is with the older LEGO games and their unclear but amazing level design? Especially in free play, I think we all can agree here it is better than the newer LEGO games which make you watch a drawn out cutscene for just completing a simple puzzle. It makes LEGO Marvel 2 so unplayable sometimes, ugh, the levels in that game, ugh. LEGO Pirates is vastly different to the previous entries because the game not only has mini kits to find but also treasure, meaning each level has 18 collectibles to collect. So the hardest level for this game is Isla de Marta, the final level of the Curse of the Black Pearl. The level is pretty much impossible to complete without a guide and it all comes down to finding the Golden Dove. A treasure item which requires you to use Jack Sparrow's compass to find. The problem is, when you begin tracking the golden dog, it ends up sending you in the complete opposite direction, and then you just end up walking around in circles. And in order to find the dog, you have to begin tracking the golden dog in a very certain spot for it to work, which is just absolute... <laughs> LEGO deserves to be locked away in Azkaban for what they have done here and this is just the start of a huge problem which has plagued a lot of the newer LEGO games, especially LEGO Jurassic World. Placing collectibles in chase segments and remember this is before LEGO Batman 2, it is such a pain if you miss them. At the very end of the level Magic is Might, you are chased down by a horde of Dementors and I am not kidding when I say you need to have the reaction time of the Flash to get the House Crest, which are the mini kits of the LEGO Harry Potter games and if you are a few milliseconds out of time the Dementors will attack you and then you have no chance at getting the House Crest. Oh, replaying this level is such a drag. How many times do I have to defeat Professor Umbridge and I am sick of hearing dun 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 Before we move into the newer generation of LEGO games, what is the hardest level from the older LEGO games? Looking over them all, we have had a mixture of very challenging levels and some very unclear ones and I have to go with... Forest Forage. Mixing terrible vehicle controls with hidden balloons in a dark forest is such a nasty combination, but will it remain the hardest level of them all? Time to go out with the old and in with the new! There are 15 main story levels in LEGO Batman 2 and if I were to ask you what is the hardest level from the game, you would say Chemical Crisis most likely. Because it is a marathon to complete, taking 50 minutes making it the longest LEGO game level to ever exist and I do agree that it can be quite a challenge but it isn't the longest time that determines the difficulty. That sounds like a Qui-Gon Jinkwa, Anakin, it isn't the longest time that determines the difficulty. <laughs> Here is core instability, the true dark night of difficulty in LEGO Batman 2 as on the surface it appears as a simple point and shoot level. To get all 10 mini kits in this level it requires you to shoot targets in a specific order but the game doesn't make this clear at the start. To get one of the mini kits you have to destroy not one, not two but three statues to drop on the Joker mech. So many people resulted in looking up guides to 100% this level just because how buggy and glitchy it can be. If you break any of these statues in the wrong order, it will cause your game to completely bug out and not reward you with the mini kit, meaning you are just left stuck wondering what to do. And that is just the tip of the iceberg for the newer LEGO games. <laughs> 
Can we please put a stop to this in LEGO games? Remember earlier when I mentioned the plague affecting all of the newer LEGO games mainly? Well, check out the second level from LEGO Lord of the Rings, Black Rider, where an edgy dude wants to take your ring. Dodging the ring wraiths isn't the challenge, it's the infuriating mini kit at the end of the level, and when Edge Lord 5000 pushes you out the way, cue the frustration. But hey, after LEGO Batman 2, things got easier, right, with those sweet checkpoints. Well, that isn't strictly true. If you are a LEGO game enthusiast and you have played nearly all of them, you will know that LEGO Hobbit was the first LEGO game to introduce loadable checkpoints from the level select. The issue with the games pre-LEGO Hobbit is how the older checkpoints require you to literally reload the game, and back then they wasn't as generous with where they placed the checkpoints. Oh yeah, hello, hello, hello there guys, I am Rugged Eagle, and if you have enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get back to it. Ooh la la, next up is everyone's favourite. It's LEGO Marvel Super Heroes! This is the hardest level in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, taking liberties. I know it isn't that hard to what we have seen in other LEGO games, the only challenging bit is trying to not fall down the statue because you will need to head all the way back up again. What if I told you though, there was something so difficult in this game, it will make you want to tear your LEGO minifigures heads off. Here is the Rainbow Road of LEGO games. I would even go as far to say it's harder. Why is Maria Hill so goated at racing? I genuinely do not know a single person who has not failed this race multiple times. What makes it so hard is how Maria Hill is literally the same speed as Sonic. In the end, I uh, just resulted in doing scummy tactics to win. Sack doing this legitimately and do not even show me the RC car race. Oh, this next level is horrifically bad. <laughs> <laughs> there is no need for this LEGO game level to exist. The time between the intro cutscene and the outro cutscene is literally a single frame of the movie. Yet they decided to make it into a full level. Behold, the depths. Everything's better down where it's wetter, under the sea. In this case, no, it's not. It is not. Having to mash a button for 20 minutes constantly and then being dragged back by fish all the time just makes this level extremely difficult. The Depths is seriously a strong contender for being the hardest LEGO game level of them all, which we will get onto very soon. Next up, it's... You have probably never ever played LEGO Hobbit, and do not worry, you are not alone. The game unfortunately never reached its full potential, with it being left unfinished to this exact day. So why was LEGO Hobbit left in the dust? The real truth is, TT Games slash Warner Bros were not even planning to add the third film into the game. Obviously, there were some teasers from Warner Bros that they could be some potential DLC, but it was always meant to end with the dragon flying off, which is a little bit disappointing because, yes, it technically is unfinished. Anyway, in terms of the hardest level from LEGO Hobbit, I had to go with the Necromancer. This is not Sekiro. What makes this level so hard is how you have to perfectly time your block to be able to defeat Sauron. And it doesn't help when orcs are constantly spawning in with armor and they take around four hits to defeat. So many people got stuck on this boss fight. Anyway, it's now time to go way beyond Gotham. This is regarded as the worst entry in the LEGO Batman game trilogy, and I agree. The game has 15 main story levels, the same as LEGO Batman 2, but there is a significant drop in quality. Out of the 15 levels, which is the hardest in the game? You may recall earlier I said it isn't the longest time that determines the difficulty. Well, for this LEGO game's case, it does. Space Suits You Sir is my pick for this game, and it is the second longest LEGO game level to ever exist, and what makes it such a challenge is the constant mix-up of gameplay. One moment you're engaged in a virtual Tron minigame urging your character to speed up and these can get a little bit frustrating and then next minute you're in this space invaders shoot em up. Pew, 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 pew. Then you finish on the watchtower and I seriously felt like I was playing Mario Galaxy in this bit. I would say the most difficult part of the level is the Tron minigame where the platform is disappearing but you know what makes the level a little bit easier? The banging soundtrack. Earlier on I 
I did warn you about the next LEGO game coming up because it spares no expense with the difficulty. Here are some of the most terrifying dinosaurs in LEGO and you will find yourself running away from these a lot inside LEGO Jurassic World, yeah. You know where this is going. It has just become a joke now. There are 25 levels in this game, and nine of them have chase segments with easy to miss mini kits, and some even make your canvas switch angles disorienting you. After painfully 100% in the game, I have to say breeding facility is the hardest, and can we please stop placing mini kits in chase segments, please? But you'll be relieved to know that this is the end of them. Thank for that. This LEGO game level is pay to win. Why is it pay to win? Well, there is a trophy inside LEGO Dimensions which requires you to complete the hardest level in the game in under 25 minutes, and only 0.5% of people have this trophy. Do you have it? Now, if you are attempting to do this level with just the starter pack characters, it is pretty much impossible, meaning you will need to buy a flying character. And I do not mean with the LEGO game studs, I actually mean with real life money, because LEGO Dimensions is a toys to life LEGO game. Even using a flying character, it took me four attempts and I only just did it. Usually, up next would be LEGO Marvel Avengers, then LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens, but I will come back to these very soon and you will see why. So that pretty much means up next it's... Was LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 really that bad compared to the first one? Yes, mainly due to the levels. I have never been so disappointed with a final boss like I have been with Kang. What even is this? I think all the levels in this game are challenging, not to beat, but to sit through. Out of the 20 forgettable levels in the game, there is one level which made me want to quit 100% in it back in the day, and that level is Hydra Hijinx. To summarise, you need to fly into a mini kit which only appears for a few seconds, then disappears, while also trying to shoot down 10 balloons in the distance for another mini kit. It does not help that there is so much stuff on the screen, like most of the levels in LEGO Marvel 2, why are they all so messy and cluttered? It may sound like I absolutely despise LEGO Marvel 2, and I do in terms of the game's levels. The open world and character designs are just incredible. What a shame that the levels let this game down. <laughs> Let us begin by addressing the elephant in the room, the main story levels. Unlike previous LEGO games which spoiled us with a plethora of levels, LEGO Ninjago only has eight levels. Eight, with combat and platforming taking the spotlight here, leaving out what LEGO games are creatively known for, puzzle solving. The absence of the classic LEGO puzzle solving leaves this game feeling way too easy, even for a LEGO game. And this is where we begin to run into the issues with the newer LEGO games. So out of the whooping eight levels, the hardest for me was the unclimbable mountain. And it is, it is climbable. This was the only level which left me stuck for a few min in the entire game because of the door puzzle. And yes, it does have three boss fights, but they're not really that challenging. And that is why we adore LEGO games. The simple puzzles which get your brain going. Sure, they're not meant to be brain busting challenges, but well, that's the beauty of it, and I understand LEGO Ninjago suits being a more combat-focused LEGO game, but this just ain't a problem with LEGO Ninjago, as you will see, and has this caused the downfall of LEGO games over the years? Earlier in the video, I deliberately left out LEGO Marvel Avengers and LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens because, you see, when I recently revisited them games, something fell off. Unlike the older classics, not a single level left me feeling stuck or challenged. The exact same goes for the next two LEGO games, Incredibles and DC Supervillains, so it got me thinking, is this a common issue with the newer LEGO games? 
Have LEGO games become a bit too easy? Now, do not get me wrong, I am not advocating for Dark Souls level difficulty in LEGO games. What I've observed is a subtle shift over the years from a focus on puzzles to a more heavier emphasis on combat, especially the post-2016 LEGO games. I still love the newer LEGO games for their levels apart from LEGO Marvel 2, and the newer LEGO games excel in their expansive open worlds and character designs. However, there's a part of me that believes the older LEGO games had superior level design. Just having a hint of difficulty in the levels just made them so much engaging, and I would love to hear your opinion on this. Please let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, it's time for LEGO Movie 2. This is seen as the worst ever LEGO game, and I appreciate the different avenue they took with LEGO Movie 2, but I can definitely see why a lot of the LEGO game community do not like this one. It's kind of like a half-baked LEGO world, and the game doesn't actually have any levels. It does have some major bosses that appear in each of the worlds. I guess that it's only fitting I choose the hardest boss from the game, and all of the bosses are these gigantic Duplo-looking things, and I really enjoy them all. I think the hardest has to be the Sorterpus when you avoid him spraying oil on you and then you have to cover yourself. But, 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 but now it is time to move on to our last LEGO game on the list and then we will decide which is the hardest LEGO game level of them all. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is one of the hardest LEGO games we have had in a while, and that is a good sign. That might mean we are kind of breaking away from LEGO games becoming a bit too easy. And this is all thanks to the annoying challenges in free play. Some can be rather easy to complete, and some can just be damn right annoying. Like the hunt for Django. Why did they not fix this level sooner? For almost a year, it was left being a buggy mess, with two out of the three challenges being almost impossible to finish. Even after they fix the level, it still remains a nightmare. Trying to avoid not getting hit by a seismic charge for the full duration of the level left me sweating. And you all know about the dodging missiles challenge. Ugh. Now that you know all of the hardest levels, and so do I, it's time to decide which is the hardest of them all. Out of the classic LEGO games, we know that Forest Forage was the hardest, and in terms of all the newer LEGO games post-2012, I have to go with The Hunt for Django for actually being the hardest of all the newer LEGO games. So between Forest Forage and The Hunt for Django, the hardest LEGO game level of all time has to be... Forest Forage. I'm still sticking with that. And do you want to know which is the worst level from every single LEGO game? Tap here. Thank you for watching, everyone. Adios.